Motown Phillies back again, doing a little East Coast swing. Boys to men going off, not too hard, not too soft. <laughs> okay, hello, fart faces. It is me, Beth B. Today I'm doing a whip and chat, which stands for work in progress, and chat, which stands for chat, talk, talking, talking to you. So pull out whatever you're working on, get out to your diamond painting, pull out your crochet, pull out your vacuum, maybe not your vacuum, pull out your dish towel, whatever you may be doing, and let's chat for a little bit. I don't know how long this is going to be, but maybe it will be a long one because I have stuff to talk about for the first time in my life. Hello, I have stuff that I want to say. Uh, usually during whip and chats, I'm like, I don't know what to talk about. I have nothing to say. But this week was eventful. On Sunday, we went to... Oh, wait, sorry. Before I skip ahead, I am working on the moth from Distracted by Diamonds. Do I have a... I have a thumbnail here. This is a thumbnail of the moth. This is what I'm working on. I'm currently right in this area here. So that is what you see, that leaf. This leaf is this leaf, leaf, leaf. So that's what I'm working on. And um, I'm gonna be using a variety of pens. So if you do see a pen that you're like, Beverly, where did you get that? Just ask in the comments down below. And I'm so glad that you are here. So let's get back to me talking about Sunday. So. Saturday, no, Friday. Friday, I was like, if you joined me last week for my last week's open chat, I was like, oh, I really want to adopt this cat. His name is Jaguar, blah, blah, blah. And Jaguar actually got adopted, but I had sent in an application form for Jaguar and the girl was like, oh, sorry, like he's been adopted. Um, but we have this other cat that we just signed, that we just signed in or like intake whatever we just took in and his name is minky and he's very sweet he's snuggly and we think you might like him he's good with other cats because i mentioned that i do have a cat i think in the application i said that i do have a cat my first cat and he is the love of my life and i was kind of like a weirdo cat person in my application but that's okay right that's okay so um yeah, so I, I was like, okay, yeah, for sure. Like, when can we come see him? Um, and she was like, oh, well, I have today at 5 or tomorrow at 4. And I was like, okay, let's do tomorrow at 4. And then I was talking to Clayton, and then I get a text that says, okay, like, just so you know, like, your meeting day is also your adoption day. But I'm like, oh, shit, like, we can't, we can't actually meet him tomorrow or like take him home with us because we're going to my sister's barbecue at five for her birthday so i was like okay never mind like sorry saturday doesn't actually work for us because we have a barbecue how about another day during the week and i was thinking she would say like okay how about tuesday instead of like sundays but she was like how about sunday and i was like oh actually yeah we can do sunday so yeah and then clayton was kind of like he was being a grumpy cat because of the temperature. Like Edmonton is going through a heat wave and he hates the heat. He hates it. He hates it. He hates it. He hates it more than Diamonds and Washi. He hates it more than Katie hates the heat because Katie is always complains about the heat and I'm I'm like exactly like her and she always apologizes for complaining about the heat. But I'm like, girl, I'm exactly like you. I am complaining about the heat as well and don't like apologize for it so anyways that's off topic so um yeah so he was like oh well we should try and clean up more before we get this cat and blah 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 and i'm like but like our place isn't dirty or anything and so i was just like well okay but like this is our chance to meet him like they're not going to hold cats and who knows when another cat will come along like knowing fully well that there will be future in the future there will be black cats that need adoption just because people stereotype black cats and whatever so I was like okay and he like didn't seem excited about it Saturday came around and it was still hot we had to go to my sister's thankfully my sister has central air 
um, meaning her house is air conditioned. I don't know if you guys know these things. Anyway, so we went to my sister's house and I was like, are you excited about tomorrow to meet Minky, which is the cat that we're going to meet for the adoption? And he's like, meh. He's like, I don't know. He's like, I don't, he's like, I don't really care. And I was like, okay. And like, he was just in a bad mood for like most of the weekend because of the heat and we didn't have an AC yet. And yeah, so yeah, so right. So we went to my sister's. It was fun. We had steak. We had chicken. We had pork kebabs and we had potato salad. We had Dairy Queen ice cream cake because it was her birthday. And um, I got to hang out with the twins. They played with Clayton for like the first time. They were like climbing on him and he was so awkward. It was really funny. I got them to call him Crayon. My mom laughed and she's, she was calling him Crayola. I was like, no mom, it's Crayon. And it was just really fun. It was fun times, fun times. And then Sunday comes around and I'm like, okay, time to go meet Minky. And I was like, are you excited? And he was like, yeah. He's like, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm like, finally, like I don't have to feel guilty for wanting to bring another cat into our house. And so we went and we met Minky. We basically were, we went inside like the enclosure where they kept him. And if I remember, I'll put a picture right here of the enclosure like of him laying in the enclosure. So we went in there and we got to hang out with him and he bit me. So I think it was like too much going on because there was another cat in the enclosure and then I was, Clayton was in the enclosure. I was in the enclosure sitting next to Minky and I was talking to the girl at the rescue about it, um, about Minky and like the next steps. And then all of a sudden I am like here, feel like this pinch on me and I was like he bit me and then Clayton was like it's probably because there's too much going on like the the other cat had just like walked um up to him and up to Minky and I was talking really loud so I was like yeah you're right it's probably way too much for him but I was like scared of him after and this is this is where he bit me so this is my elbow if you can't tell and this is these are his teeth marks. So I was like kind of scared of him and I was like, oh, well, maybe he doesn't like me because he bit me. But then like ever since then, like he's just been really sweet and like I'm not scared of him or anything. But I was just like kind of like, oh, like maybe it's not meant to be if he bit me. But then it's like, OK, I understand there's a lot going on and he was probably really nervous and stressed out. So anyways, we ended up adopting him and taking him home. Kenzu, my existing, my existing, my current, my, my cat that is, was here, that is like my first cat. He was like, I don't know about you, dude. And they kind of were like sniffing each other out. They like met no kiss noses or like touch noses. And they're kind of like right now, they're kind of just existing in the same space. Kenzu is more of like a grumpy cat, I guess. And he, he like isn't sure about Minky. Um, but it, it seems like it's going okay. It's the third day, third day. Yeah, today's Wednesday. So I'm filming this Wednesday. You guys will see this on Friday, but it seems like they're getting along okay. They will sleep on the floor like they'll be laying on the floor facing each other but not like touching um but they'll they'll lay on the floor or one of them will be sitting and the other one will be laying on the floor minky who we called stinky um doesn't really care about kenzu he's he just like couldn't be bothered with him and kenzu's just like this is my house um but whatever so we named him stinky S-T-I-N-K-E-E -E, because on the adoption form, it actually said Minky slash Stinky, like S-T-I-N-K-Y and Minky, M-I-N-K-Y. And I was like, why does it say Stinky on the form? And then the girl was like, the adoption rescue girl was like, oh, because of the vet, um, they actually named him Stinky, but we thought that was a mean name for a cat. So we named, renamed him to Minky. So I was like, I like Stinky better. And she was like, uh, okay. So um, me and Clayton were like, let's call him Stinky, S-T-I-N-K-E-E. -E. And like, I thought it was a super cute name. And now Clayton's kind of like, oh, it doesn't really match him. 
And I'm like, but it does match him because he has like wiry hair and he's like a street cat. He's like a hardcore street cat. You can't really see what I'm doing. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I like the name Stinky. Clayton wants to think of another name for a street cat. And I was like, I don't know what to call him then. If you want to change his name, you come up with it. Um, but I do want to get him a collar because sometimes I'm like, where is Stinky? And like, he's still like exploring to find his place in the world in our, in our loft. So yeah, I'm going to get him a collar with a bell on it so we know where he is. And he's just, he's a very sweet baby. Very sweet. He had ear mites when they found him, but they're all, they're all cleared up and it, um, and he was like on medication or whatever they do to get rid of ear mites. But behind his ears, uh, his hair's missing and it's kind of like sore, I guess, because that's where his ear mites were. And so he's been like scratching it a little bit and before he was wearing a cone, I guess. Um, but so we've just been putting polysporin and it seems to be helping him. Our apartment is super hot. Like we're going through a heat wave in... I guess Western Canada, but maybe the entire world. And then it's like, tell me again that um, climate change isn't real. Like, honestly, we're just going to die. We're going to, like, die from the heat, I think. So, anyways, um, yeah, so it's hot. It's like plus 30-something. And when I did the conversions, I forget how hot it was, 34 or something. When I did the conversions, it was like 97 degrees Fahrenheit. And you might be like, oh, well, Beverly, that's that's the weather we're used to. That's what the weather is here in my city. But in Edmonton, we're not used to this weather. Like, yeah, we might get like the odd day where it's like 35 or something like that. But this has been a continuous thing since the weekend. Like, it's been really hot this whole time. So, finally, I text my landlord and I was like, um, like, there was an AC unit that was left here in our loft space. Do you know what happened to it? And he's like, oh, I was wondering what that was. And so, he fetched it out of the basement and he delivered it to us. So, now we have AC and Clayton was so grumpy, but now he's happy that we have AC. So, that's good. And now he's not as grumpy as he used to be. And Clayton just got home and he's probably listening to me talking about him being grumpy. So I'm going to pause the video and I will come back. Okay guys, I'm back. So I ended up finishing, today's Thursday, I ended up finishing the area on the moth that I was working on. I ended up finishing this area and as you can see I added some sparklers for squares down on the outline. I might go back and add more later, but I think that's good for now. And now I'm on, let's see, where's that picture? Now I'm on this section right here, this section here. So that's what I'm working on. Clayton came home yesterday and you know how I always feel awkward doing uh, talking videos and whipping chats in front of people so that's why I stopped recording it is hot out today again um, apparently it's supposed to cool down cool down and by cool down I mean be m less or like minus be under minus 30 which is good the cats uh, stinky has resorted to laying in the bathroom next to the toilet and the tub between the toilet and the tub because Oops, because he, that's probably a really cool place for him. We made a fort in the living room. If we do the fort again, I will do a little picture for you guys to show you how we are keeping cool. But we made a little fort in the living room. We rearranged the couch. We used a king bed sheet to basically, we used a king bed sheet to basically make a tent in the bedroom or sorry in the living room and we live in a loft so I mean our AC like it's not it's not specifically like cooling down a specific room or anything it's actually just being annoying and and cooling down I'm just looking for a release paper um it's basically just cooling down 
the area where the AC is. It's not actually like targeting anywhere. So that is the difficulty of living in a loft. Our only door, like I said before, on this, on, whoop, okay, sorry. Let me get myself together, okay. So the, the only door we have is the door to the bathroom and our front door, and that's it. So the AC is cooling basically the living room area or whatever way we point it. Um, and it's not a very big AC either, like it, it doesn't warm, a, sorry, cool down a large part of our living room. So it's a small baby AC. So yeah, it's a standing one that you um, make the exhaust pipe thing go out the window and then it just stands on the floor. So yeah, it's been difficult. Clayton is really grumpy. And that's annoying because he hates it. He hates the heat. Like, I I hate the heat too, but I think he's concentrating on it a little bit too much. And, yeah. So, yes, yesterday our cats kissed. So, Kenzu and Stinky. Stinky was on the edge of the couch. Kenzu was on the ground. And then they, like, touched noses. And I like calling that kissing. So, that's really cute, I thought. Um, they seem to be getting along a lot better today. Like, there hasn't been a fight or anything like that, so that's good. And, like, by fight, I mean, like, they usually just, like, hiss at each other or Kenzu hisses because Stinky seems like he doesn't really care about Kenzu. Like, he just wants to, like, do his own thing. Stinky is very affectionate. He sat in my lap today while I did some work. I had a call today with someone with a client that reached out to me in 2019 and he had emailed me over the weekend saying like okay I think I'm ready to start working with you and I was like wow that's like years ago that we talked 2019 so that was pretty cool that was really cool I had the call with him today and I'm going to send him a proposal on Monday and that's really neat because I feel like um he said some really nice things about me and how when he was looking for social media help in Edmonton, um, my name came up like a, like all the time. So he was like happy about that. So I'm excited to work with him. Um, I ended up using my Diamond Art Club free, my last free shipping code. Um, I ordered, what did I order? I ordered a Willowing Arts one, the purple one with the little cat on it. And I ordered Betsy Lynn by, is it Michael Jolina who did Betsy Lynn? I don't know, but I ordered Betsy Lynn. She's like a fairy or something. She has wings, I think. Is she a butterfly? And she has like tattoos and stuff. I ordered her. And shipping for those two canvases would have been $61 Canadian. $61 Canadian. Um, but I had the free shipping code, so I got free shipping and... Unfortunately, that's the last time I'll be getting free shipping from DAC unless something changes, which is like, I understand and lots of people are still upset about it, but you have to think like if they're, if they've been losing money trying to do the right thing for their customers, um, by offering free shipping, like there comes a time when they can't necessarily keep doing that because it's not a smart business move. So yeah, so even if you are frustrated by it, just know that like, they tried to do it for the longest time, and finally they they just can't anymore. So it's not like they're doing it on purpose because they hate you or anything like that. Like I think I think that even though they were losing money and the fact that they were still doing it says a lot about their company and like their customer service, and they want to serve their customers. But Anyways, we won't talk about that anymore because I'm sure people are sick about hearing about free shipping disappearing. Um, yeah. I ordered two canvases from another company. I'm really excited. I'm not going to say who they are yet, but they are new and they have licensed artwork. So I ordered two canvases from them and I'm going to wait to announce like there's some announcements that I have to make, but I'm gonna wait till I get those two canvases to make the announcement because I wanna check out their quality before I do anything. Um, but yeah, so if you're a Patreon, you probably already know what I'm talking about because I'll talk about it 
I talked about it in this week's video. But if you are not a Patreon, today is the day to join. Or like when you're seeing this because it's the beginning of the month. Um, so yeah, I do have a Patreon. Uh, you can join for as little as $2. Um, five do the $5 tier gets you a monthly Patreon behind the scenes video. And then the monthly, or sorry, the $10 tier gets you a weekly video from me. Um, usually I'm driving or like doing something like that or chatting. I've been trying to film every single day so I have something interesting for y'all and I think that's going really well so I'm going to continue doing that. So Patreon, um, if you want to join it's patreon.com slash bev. It is in the description box below. Again, not expected, not mandatory but if you want to hear more from me I definitely would appreciate you joining my Patreon. We have a lot of fun. I post a lot of deals that I find on diamond paintings and just like random things like that. And I post like behind the scenes pictures and my Patreon was actually like I told my Patreon about Stinky before I even told my sister. So yeah, I love my patrons. Um, what else did I have to say this week? I had a lot to say. Oh, I have notes. Let me, uh, let me reference my notes. So, oh, I'm going to try and stop. I've talked about this before and I've been trying my hardest, trying my best to do it, but I want to like bring it up again so that you guys can not hold me accountable, but so I can hold myself accountable. So I say, um, quite a bit, not as much as I used to. I say so, and I say, and a lot as filler words, because if I don't say, um, usually I'll be like, so, or, and, so I want to try and stop using those filler words, filler words, so, so, see, <laughs> the words I'm trying to stop using are, um, obviously, so, and the word just, and I mean the word just because, uh, more in the professional sense, because if you're writing an email and you're like, just checking in about this, it actually makes you sound less assertive and less authoritative. Not that I want to sound assertive or not that I want to sound authoritative, but like instead of writing just checking in, just write checking in, how's this going? Because if you're like just checking in how this is going, it doesn't sound as important as it actually is. So I'm removing the word just from emails and I'm removing the word obviously. I want to stop saying obviously because I remember watching a YouTube video, like a TED Talk, and it was talking about how obviously is a very demeaning way when you're talking to someone. Um, and I said, um, but it's because you're like, oh, obviously. And you, you think you just assume that the other person knows things, but they might not know, so it's not obvious to them. So by saying obviously, it's kind of descending, kind of condescending. So I want to try and stop saying obviously. So, so see, I said so again. Um, and I said, um, oh my god. So I, <laughs> there's no way in stopping it. But the two words that I really want to stop saying are obviously and just. Those are the two that are at the top of my list. And what else do I have to say? Did I talk? Okay, so the bat. I've been waiting for the bat from Distracted by Diamonds. It was, it's in transit, and it's been in transit since May 24th. There's still hope, though. There is still hope. This other girl on Instagram, Lens Diamond, Lens Diamond Painting, Diamond Paint, something like that. She is in BC, and... I told, and I told her, like, check your tracking, and she checked her tracking, and she ordered, like, a while ago, too, so, like, I think at the beginning of May, the beginning of June or something like that, and her package just started moving, and then it arrived to her, like, the other day, so that gives me hope for my package, and Robin from Distracted by Diamonds said that someone ordered two months ago, and they just got their package, so... I'm hoping that I will still get the bat from Distracted by Diamonds. I'm hoping it is not gone. And I also ordered, besides the bat, I ordered the Hornet. And I ordered, what is it? Uh, it's called the Honeybee. The Honeybee is really cute. It is purple and blue 
like themed and then the bees yellow obviously but it's really pretty so I ordered that one and I ordered the Hornet so now I have my Jasmine Castillo like creature collection is complete for now until they put out another one so I'm really excited for that if you guys didn't watch my video yesterday uh, Jill so Jill and STL you might know her from like attending people's lives she comes to my live um, she sent me a present and it was so nice and this is what was in it if you guys didn't watch it if you missed it go back and watch it and it says hashtag fart face on it and it's a little Furby and she made this from scratch like she crocheted it and these are like little little piercings that she put on the ears so that's super cute I'm super excited about that let me just check my phone for one second Clayton just sent me this picture of my this is my car and this is a tree it looks like the tree fell right behind it. That's crazy. At least it didn't fall on my car. Wow. That is all I really had to tell you guys this week. Like really the big thing that happened this week was we got Stinky. I love him so much. I'll insert a picture here or something of his little face. And he's just, he's adorable. And you can tell he's like a street cat. So I'm so happy that we adopted him and he has like a permanent home with us forever. And he's just, he's adorable. He's so affectionate and I love him. But let me know how your week went. If anything notable happened, let me know. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching my whip and chat. And I'm happy that I actually had something to say this week. Woo! And I'll see you guys in my next video. If you made it this far, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post new videos on a regular basis. And if you already subscribed or you've made it this far just in general, leave me a smiley face emoji. Any kind of smiley face emoji will do. Talk to you guys later. Okay, bye!